Hey everyone, my name is Sean. My name's JD. And today we're going to be checking out Apotheon. What is Apotheon? Apotheon was made by Alien. So I'm not sure the name of the the developer, but it's. I'll made, pull it. I'll pull it up on the screen. Yeah, it's made by Alien something, and it's about it's Greek mythology. Um, and yeah. Sorry, one second. We'll we'll just um, let you guys hear the cutscene. Well, actually, do you know what? I'm not going to worry too much about talking over cutscenes. I know it's a kind of a written, unwritten rule not to talk over cutscenes, but we're not going to do a full LP of no. Apotheon. This is us just checking out a game which we got on PS Plus for free this um, year. It was, um, not this year, this month. It was only recently released, and um, well, when I came round um, recently, JD had to show it to me. What did you? What were your first impressions of Apotheon? It's really cool because I, I I'm really into this all the history and all of this Greek mythology and all of this sort of stuff. The art design in this game is top notch. Yeah. Is, is this an indie game? I think so. It yeah. must. I think it must be. The same people who made Capsize, I think, made oh, this game on the PC. Yeah. Yeah, that was um that was a good little kind of like a Metroidvania style game. So, how would you describe this type of genre for this game? Kind of like. 2D Skyrim. 2D know. Skyrim. Oh wow, that's a really, really good way to describe it. Yeah. I mean, well, I'm playing it now. It feels a little bit like Rogue Legacy, which we loved and enjoyed dearly. <laughs> and obviously, we're doing a tutorial here. I, I don't know how long we're going to be playing for, but um, we're just going to check it out and see what it's like. Okay, so it's nice. text. So I've already played a little bit of this game, only just to get used to the controllers, um, the controls. So okay, so our guy's name is Nikandria. Try and remember that name. <laughs> I'm going to call him Nike. <laughs> so uh, we are officially the first sneaker sponsor in the world. And our city is being destroyed. Now, uh, let's check out the map. So you have to go to the apothecary, the blacksmith, the granary, and the hunter. Where should I go first? Uh, head to the blacksmith. Yeah, okay. Alright, so let's head in down to the bottom left corner. Oh, that's a bad guy. How do, how you, do don't, you... you don't always... I remember, you don't always have to fight these guys. You can just run straight past them. Well, I might as well get some practice in. How do I tell who's the bad guy? Because there was a They're woman wearing there. wearing red. Oh, I see. Get the farmer's walk. There we go. That Farmer's weapon, fork. That weapon's good. And this is how we change weapons. I think weapons. you have a shield as well. No, I don't have a shield. Do you not? Oh. No, that my hands are empty. Oh, is oh. I have to find a lockpick for that. Okay, cool. Well, um, the first thing you're going to notice when you're playing this game is the art style. The art style is very, very much like um, the painted vases from Greek mythology. Um, for those... Uh, uh, for a tiny history lesson, for those um, who don't know... Um, during the Greek times, they wouldn't write on books. Well, they would have tablets, stone tablets to write on. <laughs> not, not your typical iPad. No, definitely not. But they would um, write in story, uh, write their stories on vases. And if you ever see one of those now, which are not a, recre um, a recreation of an old pot, they are very, very expensive and very, very valuable. So this game has taken that kind of art style, and it's done it really well really. You, you you just ah, i'm burning oh jeez. now um they've they've really recreated their art style very very well um there you go there's your shield what do you feel what like, is that that looks like a sling that is, looks sick is that dude naked he looks like he's naked stab him just stab him there we go i will say this game I feel like um, describing it as a bit like Skyrim is kind of right, but it also feels a little bit like Dark Souls in a way. In the sense that... Um, oh, can't pull that lever. In the sense that um, the game Get controls... Hang on. The game controls are... Uh, let's talk about the way the controls... It's always hard to explain how a game controls, and if you have a PlayStation, you can download this for free yourself and try it out. But the way if it works... If you have PlayStation Plus. Absolutely. But if you... Um, one minute. Let me just deal with this guy right now. Stab him. Block him. Be careful. He's bleeding. Oh gosh, I'm. As you can tell, I'm very, very fresh and very, very new to this game. Okay, so uh, a little bit about the controls. You have your directional inputs using the left joysticks. X is to jump, and the face buttons 
Oh, that she. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. That uses an item. To use your weapons. <laughs> Jeez, this is the worst tutorial I've ever done. So, to use your shield, you press L2. To use your um, sword or your weapon, main hand weapon, is use R2. But it's not enough just to press the button like most games, like say, like Shovel Knight or Rogue Legacy, where you can just hit them. You also have to guide your attack using the right stick. So, if you want to hit up, you have to guide it upwards. In that sense, it's a little bit finicky to get used to the combat system. It makes you think about what you're doing a little bit more than you normally would when playing a game like this. But I think it's really, really effective. Go to your menu. Uh, let's see. Is this the menu? No. Uh, click. Go to... Oh, you can't do it yet. Never mind. Okay. That That's later. Oops. Sorry. Didn't mean to go to the homepage. Okay. So let's carry on from this section here. Let's help this guy out. <laughs> Thanks, dude. So you're giving us money so that we can pay for something that you made. <laughs> um, oh, I gotta say the voice acting is pretty, pretty good so far. Yeah, it's pretty um, well done. I gotta say for an indie game, they must have had a very large budget to be able to get all of do, this done. Do, do, do. Uh, those are throwing spears, by the way. Oh, are they? Yeah. And it looks like I've got another shield. Don't know if that's any better or worse, but let's Probably carry on better. there. What do you think about the idea of using um, ancient history in for a video game? I think it's quite good. Like a lot of games, like Assassin's Creed, yeah, is like something where that's like a must-have. Like ancient Italy, ancient old France, the Renaissance, Renaissance, all of that. It's really it's something that happens a lot in a lot of games. So I think it's a good. It's not. I've I've never don't think I've ever seen a game with Greek mythology. So I could think of one, God of War. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I've never played God of War. Um, it never really um, looked like to be look my kind of thing, but um, that's very much based on. Isn't it like kind of like Shadow of the Colossus? God of War. Um, it's not quite like Shadow of the Colossus. You do have those big fights, and I think God of War was influenced by Shadow of Colossus. Or oh, I might be wrong about that. But um, it's more of an action style game, beat em up. Not beat em up, sorry, character action game. Bit more, more like, like Marlow Briggs. <laughs> yeah, like Marlow <laughs> Briggs or Bayonetta and any one of those games, Korra and so on. Um, yeah, um, I mean, obviously, this is just an adaptation of history. I don't know, I'm not very well versed in Greek mythology and I don't know what Apophian is. But. Um, um, you should try and um, get. F f uh, all right, thanks, dude. Oh, here he comes. Get get a, a thing to throw. What do you mean? Oh, never mind. Okay. I was just saying you could uh, wait for him to come and just quickly hit him. Get, uh, throw something at Whoa, why is he spazzing like that? Magdol <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, physics even in a game like this. Um, Sorry, my, I lost my train of thought there. I was going to ask, so... um. I mean, I think this is this is just an adaptation of history naturally. What do you feel about? Um, do you think there could be any further applications to video games by um, getting people into history? So like yeah, like I've seen a lot of my friends at school say that <laughs> Assassin's Creed teaches history better than the teachers at our school. <laughs> really? Yeah. Even though it uh, roll roll roll. Now, oh, thank you. You can throw. There you go. There goes the shield. Stab him. Okay. Go. Pick up the stuff. I would. I would love to see that a bit more. Like um, people get interested from one medium, particularly video games, and being able to then use that to apply to something else. I mean, that's what we're all about here at the Arnolds. You know, you, you and your brother Leo. They, you do your things where you listen to the tra soundtrack of a game and then you play the music of it. Mm -hmm. So I think it's really, really cool for that. What about in the terms of teaching? Do you feel like... Brain like, training. No, but more like in the... Go down there. Go down there. Go down there. More like in a historical sense. Do you feel like you could... I mean, like I said, your friends said they learned more from Assassin's Creed than they did from the history teacher. <laughs> Do you think that could actually be like a realistic kind of thing? Yeah. 
Yeah, can you do learn a lot? I'm sure. I'm, I swear, like, um, Pythagoras is in one of the Assassin's Creed yes, games. Yes, he is. And you have to defeat Leonardo his rival. da Vinci. Yes. Oh, Leonardo da Vinci as well. Yeah. So. I think Pythagoras was da Vinci's rival. If um, I remember correctly, for, so from then the so you have to DLC. help Pythagoras kill da Vinci. No, you help uh, da Vinci take out Pythagoras. Oh, other way. But um, yeah, no, it's really really cool. This game could runs very, very smoothly. We're playing the PlayStation 4 version, um, naturally. Is there, is there a PC version? Yes, there is. I was considering buying it, but my laptop can't keep up with these kind of games anymore. Well, maybe, but... Your, your laptop's a bit of a granddad now. Yeah, it's getting there. It's getting there in its old age. But, um, yeah, no, this is pretty, pretty cool. Um, let's see what we got here. Okay, see you can't see me. Let's just stab it in the butt. I said what what in the butt okay I said what what in, in the, the butt <laughs> okay so let's keep on making our way through the granary get the me of Crete now if I'm not correct you did tell me that this was the kind of the tutor tutorial area yeah of the game of. how far have you have you played into uh, this I finished this this is all I'm doing I, I played this so that I could just help you out do you um, so go on yeah, I haven't actually played a lot of this game. I finished the tutorial area, and that's as far as I actually got. Do you feel? Um, I mean, you've had PS uh, Plus for two months now. Yeah. Yeah. Do you feel that this was a worth get a game worth getting? Yeah, in my a lot of a lot of people that I know because I live in England and a lot of them are just <laughs> FIFA and stuff. They don't really. We're appreciate. very we're very limited in our choice. Cho um, taste in the United Kingdom. Yeah. Just take a look at the retail charts, it's just FIFA, GTA and Assassin's Creed. A game all, that all came around. out, GTA is a masterpiece, but still, a game that came out two years ago yeah. is one of the best sellers. It, it, it was number one last week. Num wow. Well, two weeks ago it was number one, a game which came out in 2013, but it got dethroned. Do you know, can you guess by who? FIFA. No, Evolve. Oh really? Yeah, Evolve beat it. That and, game looks really fun. And he got um, knocked down by Majora's Mask and um, what's it called? Um, Monster Hunter. Oh. But um, Nintendo doing okay in the UK then. Well, I. But um, to get back on track, I mean, I love that these kind of indie games can get exposure on such a big platform like PS mm -hmm. Plus because otherwise, when would you hear of it? I, you would, I would. I wouldn't. I don't think I would know of this game. Without PlayStation Plus. I mean, I've seen um, ter Terraria in a retail store in um, the United Kingdom, but getting indie games in the United Kingdom, ugh, unless you know about Steam or <laughs> know about them from online services, then you're not really going to see them. So it's really, really great that PlayStation America are supporting these America is the place for indie games. Sadly, I'm afraid. I mean, we do have a couple of good ones made from the UK, but, you know, we like what we like here. Do you know what country Minecraft is from? Switzerland? Yeah, Sweden. Sweden? Yeah, yeah, I think it is. Is that where Notch is from? Yeah, Notch bought Jay-Z and Beyonce's house. Did he? In Beverly Hills, I think. That guy is rolling in money. Loving that Microsoft box. <laughs> Easily. Man. Let me my, uh, let my, me ask you. If you were not to get this on PS Plus and you had played, like, say, the demo of this, how much would you spend on a game like this? I don't think I would. You wouldn't buy it? No, probably probably not. Yeah, that's honest. That's really, really honest of you. Um, if someone had made a, What if someone had made a recommendation and said, you should really try this game, this is your type of thing, you'll like it? I wouldn't pay a lot. Like, I, I usually... Like, one of the only games I've ever bought on PlayStation, on, like, the store, is uh, Legend of Korra. And that you bought because we're, fan we're fans of the show. Yeah. Other than that, I don't really. I'd never really look for games like how you would look for a game on Steam and see it and buy it. So it's really, really great that someone like yourself could get um, get this for free on PlayStation yeah. Plus. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I I wouldn't have seen this game on the store and think, oh, that looks really cool. I'll buy it. Mm. I wouldn't have. That's it. I'm not like that. Didn't see a shingle, a single there. This guy's drunk. Alright dude, see you later. Get the arrows. Right, 
Jeez, what is that hanging up from there? Oh, just said a bit of meat. No, he said, "Oh, there's no meat. He has meat hanging on the walls." Oh, so he's obviously drunk. <laughs> okay. And he has bread. Okay. Well, guys, that's been um, um that's been our quick look at a puffy. It's been about fifteen minutes of it, and um, like we said, we're just gonna check out this game and give off our first impressions of it. It looks really, really great. Um, it plays pretty smoothly and it plays runs, runs really really well. This is the type of game that I would definitely need to sit down and play for a couple of hours to give a proper proper first impressions of it. But if you do have PS Plus, I do recommend checking it out. And um, um, yeah, hopefully the game does really really well and we see more from these creators on it. The art style is absolutely stunning. Oh my gosh, Yo, what is that? What the hell? Oh, that was full damage. Okay, cool. <laughs> so anyway, guys, I'm going to run in this burning field, and I'm going to t check you guys out later. See ya! Take care.